it's Jenna from A Couple Travelers, and if you've been following the channel, you know that Andy and I just love Sandals vacations. We've been to five resorts in the last four years. We have three more trips already booked, and I'm here in this video to just share the 15 best tips we have for Sandals vacations. And I've actually divided the tips up into specific categories. So it's tips that you should know before you book your vacation, tips to help you after you book as you are planning for your vacation, and then finally tips to help you while you are on site to make the most of your vacation. So let's dive in with a couple of tips to help you before you book your trip. Tip number one is to know the room categories and what they mean. And if you've ever been to the Sandals website, you'll notice that their room descriptions are like 10 to 15 words long and it can get very confusing. On our very first trip to Sandals, which was to Sandals Grand Antigua in 2017 for our honeymoon, we had no idea that with our club level room that we could order room service. So the only time we actually had room service on our trip was the um, complimentary breakfast in bed that we had as part of the um, honeymoon perks on site. So we had no idea. So I think it's very important to know what comes with each of the room categories so you know which room is best for you. So all rooms at Sandals fall into one of three categories. You can be in a luxury level room, a club level room, or a butler level room. And with luxury level, which is kind of just the basic room at Sandals, you're still gonna have everything that's included in a typical Sandals vacation, your food, your alcohol, and other beverages entertainment, activities, transportation to and from um, the airport, Wi-Fi, tips and other gratuities and taxes. And I'll also put a link down below to our what's included in a Sandals vacation video where we get into more detail. But all of that will be included in a luxury level room. You'll have a fridge in your room and everything in the fridge is included. Water, soda, juice, beer and wine. And you can request to have that restocked daily, ask for a different type of wine etc. But that is kind of everything that's included in the luxury level room category. Then in club level rooms, you have everything that's included in a luxury level room, plus you have room service from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. and you have a special room service menu in your room that you can order from. You have concierge service, so you can pick up the phone in your room and call to make dining reservations. If you're in the luxury level room, as I mentioned previously, you would have to go to a desk to book your dining reservations, but with club, you can just call the concierge and work with them to book anything that you need. You also have access to the Club Sandals Lounge, which is very nice. The lounge is staffed with concierge, so you can go in there to make any reservations that you need. They also have drinks and snacks in there. They always have cookies or something. So it's just a nice additional place to hang out. And lastly, you have liquor in your room. So with the previous category, you just have beer and wine. Once you get into club, you're gonna have liquor in your room. So you have a full bar, so you're able to mix up anything, any type of drink that you would want. Then of course, in the top category, which is butler level rooms, you're gonna have everything that was mentioned previously, but you're also gonna have personal butlers as well for your trip, which is very unique. So you're even given a cell phone, when you arrive at the resort, so you can contact your butlers anytime you need something. You can use them to reserve your spot in the morning. And if you've seen any of our videos before, definitely one of our complaints is that a lot of the pool chairs, sometimes all of the pool chairs are taken by butlers in the morning and it could be hard to find a spot. If you don't wanna worry about that, butler level rooms are definitely the way to go. They will go reserve your spot. They will put a cooler out there with all of your favorite drinks. You can text them if you want them to bring you lunch by the pool or by the beach. They're really there to help you with whatever you need. Having a butler level room is also really good for dining reservations. You definitely have some more flexibility in getting the reservations you want at the date and time you want, or if you wanna make a last minute change, they really work hard to be able to do that for you. They can help you unpack, they can press your clothes on the first night, they can help you pack up when it's time to go. They really are there for whatever you need to make your trip as smooth as possible. And some of the different butler room categories, 
Some of them also come with private luxury transfers to and from the resort, which is an extra bonus. But all in all, it's just important to know what's included with each and every room category so that you don't book something that you think you want and then show up at the resort and realize, oh no, I booked luxury and I can't order room service and that's kind of a deal breaker for you. Tip number two is to make use of discounts. If you've ever gone to the Sandals website before, you'll notice that it always kind of looks like there's a major sale going on. So Sandals does that for a very particular reason to kind of create urgency that something looks like a really good deal, but basically all the time Sandals is at least like 55% off. So that's kind of the standard. If you see something is 55% off, that's really just kind of full price. <laughs> But there are a lot of great discounts and perks and other freebies that a lot of people don't know about, so I will get into each of those. The first is that Sandals does offer a military discount, which is wonderful. It is 10% off the pre-tax price of the room, and this is available for anybody who's military, firefighters, police, or FEMA. And military discounts are combinable with other discounts as well, so really wonderful. You'll just have to um, book your trip, apply the discount, and then bring your military ID with you, which they will check when you arrive at the resort. The next discount, and probably one of the better discounts out there is the free anniversary night. So if you are traveling within 30 days of your wedding anniversary, not your wedding date as in it's your honeymoon, but your wedding anniversary, you can actually get a free night. There are some stipulations. You do have to book at least seven nights in a club or butler level room. You book that and then you submit a copy of your marriage certificate and then they will take off the cost of one night. So you could book seven nights and you're paying for six, book eight nights and you're paying for seven, et cetera, but it's a really wonderful deal. The next discount is called the 777 Special. So you could go right to the Sandals website and hover over specials and you'll see the 777 promotion and you'll find seven rooms that have an extra 7% off. And this is always just a really great deal, but they're only valid for a certain amount of days. They say seven, but it really seems to update every three or four days. So if you see that discount, it is really great to grab it. But if you book a room at full price and then your room shows up before your trip in the 777 deal, as long as you are not paid in full, you can contact Sandals and have that price updated. So it's a great way to save an extra 7% on your vacation. The next thing is not a discount, but it is a freebie, which is wonderful. So if you are going to Sandals and are celebrating your honeymoon, if you are traveling within 30 days of your wedding date, you can add on the complimentary honeymoon perks, which is something we did when we traveled for our honeymoon. So with that, you will get a bottle of chilled sparkling wine in your room when you arrive at the resort. You'll have a special turndown service on the first night of your honeymoon, which is really romantic. And then the third thing is that they will be a breakfast in bed one morning of your honeymoon with rose petals and mimosas and you get to pick what you want for breakfast just really nice complimentary perks to add on um, you do have to submit a copy of your wedding invitation or marriage license on the sandals website and they will add those perks onto your reservation tip number three is to see if your resort has a nearby sandals and if it does you have full exchange privileges with that resort so for example if you go to sandals montego bay you also have full access to sandals royal caribbean which is nearby and sandals provides complimentary shuttles to and from the different resorts if you go to any of the resorts in St. Lucia, you have full access to the other two that are nearby. They're all within 30 minutes of each other, which is great. If you go to Barbados, you obviously have full exchange privileges between Barbados and Royal Barbados, which are next door. I honestly tell guests to just pretend it's one large resort because you can't really tell where one ends and the other begins. So obviously full access to everything there. Sandals Ochi and the recently opened Sandals Duns River are also nearby and you have full exchange privileges. The only resort that does not is if you are staying at Ochi and you want to go to Royal Plantation, that's the only one you cannot. Guess at Royal Plantation can go to Ochi, but not vice versa because Royal Plantation is an all butler resort. So that's the one thing to keep in mind, but anywhere else you go, if there's a nearby Sandals, you're gonna have full access to that, which definitely expands your pool options, your dining options. I know a lot of guests like to book dinner reservations at the other resort 
airport and take the shuttle over. So it's just a great option. Tip number four is to book your trip with a travel agent. You may not know this, but it is completely free to work with a travel agent. You will pay the same price as if you go to the Sandals website and book the trip yourself. But by booking through an agent, you're helping a small business and you're also having someone who can make sure you're using the best discounts, who will help you find the best room and really understand the room categories, even helping you figure out which resort is best for your trip. So it's really great to have someone who's in your corner, especially somebody like me who really specializes in sandals vacations. This is by far the number one thing that I sell and I really like sending clients here. So if you're at all interested in learning more about sandals or if you wanna receive a couple of complimentary quotes, totally no obligation, I'll put my email address in the video description below. The next set of tips will help you after you book as you prepare for your sandals vacation. Tip number five is to make a sandals select account. So after you book your room or your travel agent books your room, you should download the sandals app to your phone and then you should create a sandals select account. With a sandals select account, you earn points for even just signing up. You'll earn points for every sandals visit to eventually get a free week. And you can even get discounts at the spa, on photo packages, and at the resort shop. With the Sandals app, it actually counts down the days to your vacation, which is really fun. You can look up restaurant menus and hours. You can look at the spa offerings and book spa appointments. You can look at and book excursions, see activities offered at the resort. It's really a hub for all the information that you need for your vacation, which is great. The app really is a great tool and you'll use it a lot before and during your vacation. Tip number six is to book excursions and other extras in advance. Now you may not wanna book things until you are on site, but I will say that a lot of things, especially the ones really worth doing, can certainly sell out. So I always tell my guests if they really have their heart set on something to just book it as soon as possible. You can always cancel up until a certain amount of days before the activity and get a full refund, so there really is no risk especially if it's something like, oh, our anniversary is on the 20th and we really want to do a candlelight dinner. Things do sell out, so private candlelight dinners on the beach, excursions, spa appointments, even photo sessions. Go ahead and get those booked. The earlier the better, I would say at least three to four months before your trip, but I tend to do it even earlier than that, especially if it's something, again, I have my heart set on. So. Definitely look at everything that's available and get it booked in advance. Tip number seven is to complete your butler preference form anytime after booking. If you are staying in a butler level room, you'll need to complete your butler preference form. You can do this anytime after the room is booked up until four days prior to travel. You can fill out the butler preference form either on the Sandals website or the Sandals app as you would have just downloaded, and it's gonna ask you a lot of questions for the butler to really get to know you and your favorites. So they have your pantry set up with your favorite drinks, and they just get to know you a little bit better so that they are really providing a vacation experience that is tailored to you. And really be specific here so that when you show up, your room is all set and your vacation is really customized to you. Tip number eight is to complete the online check-in as well. This can be done again, either on the Sandals website or the Sandals mobile app, but it has to be done after you've made your final payment on your vacation and at least, again, four days prior to arrival. It'll confirm all of your information, get your contact information, confirm your flight times if you haven't booked flights through Sandals or if your flights have changed a little bit since you provided them with flight information. So it's really just their way of confirming when you're gonna be at the airport so they can arrange your transportation. And then they're also gonna ask for a credit card to keep on file as well for incidentals. So when you enter that card information, it will actually put a $400 hold at check-in on your card for incidentals. And then if you don't use that, once you check out, that money will go back onto your card. Tip number nine is to don't forget about the dress code. So as you are starting to pack for your sandals vacation, it will be helpful to know that most places there are two dress codes. One is resort casual and the other is resort evening. You'll be able to dress resort casual most of the time. And really the only rule here is that swimwear must be covered and shoes must be worn. So if you're going into a spot for lunch and you just came from the pool, don't go walking in barefoot with just your bathing suit. So put on shorts and a t-shirt, put on a 
cover up dress of some sort, throw on some flip flops and you'll be all set. Some of the restaurants on site may require what's called a resort evening dress code. And basically what this means is no shorts. They really want you to be in long pants. Jeans are fine, khakis, dress pants, that sort of thing. And they don't want flip flops. So you really should wear like a dress shoe, boat shoes, or a kind of nice sandal. They don't want you wearing hats. They don't want you in, you know, tube tops. So my husband for a resort evening would wear jeans and a polos along that lines with boat shoes. And I'd probably throw on, you know, some sort of dress and a nice pair of sandals or heels something like that. So when you are packing, this is just something to keep in mind so that you don't show up and only have a suitcase full of shorts and therefore can't go to the nice Italian restaurant. The good thing is that if you are working with a travel agent, they will let you know which restaurants require reservations and which require this resort evening dress code. That's definitely something I do for my clients. I did also wanna mention that one of the next videos we have coming out is gonna be a sandals packing video where we go through our actual packing list that we use when we prepare to go to sandals. I really think it's gonna be helpful. So be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you don't miss that. Tip number 10 is to pack your swimsuit and other essentials in your bag in case your room isn't ready upon arrival. The official check-in time at sandals is 3 p.m. So if you are arriving much earlier in the day, most likely your room is not gonna be ready. They are able to store your luggage for you. So what I always recommend is to have, you know, a swimsuit, maybe a change of clothes, anything else that you're gonna need for the first few hours of your trip in a little backpack or whatever your carry-on item is from the plane. So that way when you arrive, you can go change, go to the pool, go to the beach, just get the vacation started. The last thing you wanna do is rip open your giant suitcase and start rummaging through for items. So just kind of think ahead know how much time you're gonna have before you could be getting into your room and just plan accordingly. Now the remaining tips are gonna help you when you are on site and enjoying your sandals vacation. So tip number 11 is to make dining reservations as soon as you arrive at the resort. In case you didn't know, you cannot make dining reservations in advance of your trip. That is something you can only do once you arrive at the resort. And I certainly recommend that this is something that you do on day one. And if you are getting in late and really just don't have time to do it than to do it in the morning of day two and to do it for the entire length of your stay. If you are staying in a luxury level room, you're gonna have to go to the dining desk during the hours that they are open and make your reservations there. I believe they are typically open until 6 p.m. on most days. So if you're arriving after that, then you'll certainly have to wait till they open on the following day. For club level, you can go to the Club Sandals Lounge or you can call concierge from your room to make your dining reservations. And then of course, if you have a butler, you can simply ask them to make your dining reservations. I advise my clients to, before the trip, perhaps make a list of the ones that they wanna reserve and maybe suggest dates and times and hand that to your butler and they'll go off and take care of it and come back and let you know what they were able to confirm. But the earlier you go and make your dining reservations, the better chance you'll have of getting the times you want and just keep in mind that things do fill up, so the earlier you do it, the better. Tip number 12, don't forget to visit the Aqua Center and take advantage of included activities. One of the great things about Sandals Resorts are all of the included activities that they offer. So you can go to, over to the Aqua Center and you can book your times for snorkeling, which is an off-site snorkeling trip. So you're getting on a boat, going somewhere and snorkeling. Those certainly can sell out on certain days, so Definitely book that in advance. You can make appointments for Hobie Cat lessons, water skiing if they have it, glass bottom boats if they have it. It's really good to get those things reserved in advance. I always recommend that you get all of your reservations done of things you think that you want throughout the week done in the first day or two, and then you can just relax and enjoy your vacation and you're not constantly getting up Oh, need to go to the Aqua Center to book this. Need to go here to try to book that. It's just book it all in the beginning. You can always cancel if you no longer wanna do it. Just get all your housekeeping stuff done and be able to relax and enjoy the rest of the trip. There are, of course, some things that you can just show up and ask to use at the Aqua Center. You can just show up and say, is there a kayak? I'd like to take it out. Is there a paddle board available? I'd like to take that out. But it's a great offering from Sandals and something you should definitely take advantage of. Tip number 13 is don't be afraid to order more than one meal. 
And what I mean by that is Sandals is fully an all-inclusive resort. You can eat as much as you want and drink as much as you want. So when you go to a restaurant, you of course have free reign to order more than one appetizer, more than one entree, more than one dessert, and you even can go to more than one restaurant in a night. It's also good to know that none of the Sandals restaurants have an upcharge. All of the restaurants are included and there isn't a special dish or anything like that at the restaurants that are an upcharge, even lobster at the resort all included. Tip number 14, there is no tipping at Sandals, except for the butlers and spa. Tips at Sandals are included in your vacation package fare, which is great, so you really don't need to be walking around with cash or anything when you're going to the restaurants, when you're going to the bar, tips are automatically included there. The only exception is if you are in a butler level room, you are expected to tip your butlers. A general rule of thumb would be 20 to $25 per butler per day. Sometimes you could have more than one and they're on rotation and you can certainly adjust those tips based on who is doing what for you and who is, you know, I'm sure there might be one that is putting in a lot more effort and you've been seeing a lot more of, you can certainly give them a bigger tip and give the other butler less of a tip. It's really what you feel comfortable with, but you should come prepared to tip your butlers. I like to recommend to my clients that they bring some envelopes and cash and a variety of bills. And at the end of every day or end of every butler shift, they can write their name on the envelope with cash and either leave it in the pantry if they're not able to give it to them directly and they'll make, someone will get the money over to them. The other exception is if you are going to the spa, you really should be tipping your spa technician who is doing your massage or your facial or whatever it may be. But anywhere else in sandals, you are not expected to tip. Outside of the sandals bubble, so if anyone handles your luggage at the airport, we like to give them a tip. If we're going on any excursions off-site through island routes, we like to tip them as well. So it's just something to keep in mind. And last but not least, tip number 15 is to book a return stay while you're on site. If you book your next vacation while you are on a vacation, you actually could save an extra 10 to 12% on the current promotion based on what room category you are. I believe it is 10% off a luxury level room, 11% off club, and 12% off a butler level room. This is a fantastic deal again can be combined with a military discount and as long as you don't pay the booking in full you can transfer it over to your travel agent if they were the one who booked the first trip that you are on which is really great I will say if you are planning to travel around your wedding anniversary date it may actually be worth waiting and booking at home and getting the free anniversary night versus this extra 10 to 12 percent off may require doing a little math to see what the best deal is but this is an, a no-brainer especially if you're staying luxury level and wouldn't be able to do the free anniversary night promotion but this is just a great deal and a great way that Sandals says thank you for coming and wanting to return to Sandals. So those are our top 15 tips for planning and going on a Sandals vacation. I hope it was helpful. Again, if you think you're interested in a Sandals vacation, I would love to help you. And even if you just have some initial questions, again, please feel free to send me an email. My email is listed in the video description below. But that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.